Hey everyone. I uh, kept going on the bus and I got a bunch of stuff done. As you can tell, it's a, a different color. And uh, that's a good thing, I guess. She's, uh, seems like I never get fur enough away in the garage. Need a bigger garage. Uh, I spent the yes yesterday uh, chasing the body work and trying to get her as clean as I could using that, um, I keep calling it a vinyl putty, I think it's polyester. And uh, just like chasing pinholes and doing little imperfections. Got all that taken care of. I went around and uh, took a masking tape and drew some lines down where the original panels kind of met. And uh, then took a hacksaw blade and cut in a straight line to into the bondo and then wrapped the hacksaw blade in sandpaper and kind of opened those lines up just so it kind of looks original again. There, that, that one right there. So she's looking pretty good. A uh, couple little boo boos I did see, but they're kind of under the molding. There's one on the door right here. It shows up or not, but the uh, the molding covers that, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And uh, a couple of little pinholes on uh, one of the two side doors, but uh, I think I'm gonna let that go. The, uh, while I was priming it, I should show what I was using for primer. I used a whole gallon too. 2K high build urethane primer. Uh, use that with uh, 185 reducer and of course the uh, 2K thinner or uh, catalyst. So I used all that and it was working pretty good. The only thing I I started noticing as I get towards the lower sections of it is there was a lot of overspray, a lot of like dried, um, dried overspray that uh, was kind of accumulating. So then when I got down to here, it has that, uh, I call it exaggeration, but it has that look of like um, stuck up, <laughs> but fine. You know, it's just like with the little dust particles collected. Uh, I, I know I have to wet sand the whole thing out anyway, so I wasn't that concerned about it. I was thinking it should have laid down a lot smoother than what it did. I'm not quite sure what I did wrong. I was running the gun around, uh, I'm going to say 50 PSI, 40, 50 PSI. It was, uh, it was, you know, made in China guns. High volume, low pressure, but it worked pretty good on the Mustang, so I just kind of used it over again. And went over, hit it two coats. First thing I did was I went around and hit all the jams and uh, the interior of the dash. It's a truck, so there's really not much interior to uh, mask off or cover. Plus the thing was stripped out anyway. And then I went around and hit the body twice and I was pretty much done after that. Shot in the engine compartment a little bit. How's that for masking, huh? Towels. Towels and aluminum foil and bags. It works. So if anybody uh, can steer me what my direction I was going wrong, possibly I, I was thinking that uh, the reducer was evaporating a little too quick. It's a nice dry day today, and I'd say it's probably 80 degrees. And I got all my paints. I would say for two gallons of Urethane single stage. Uh, a gallon reducer, two gallon, uh, two bottles of um, here we go. Two gallons of urethane paint, gallon of reducer, and um, Two activators was 360. And then the primers and all. The primer and a gallon of producer and the bottle I think was like one 
say 114. So, 500 bucks in materials to paint it. And I was hoping I was gonna have some primer left over. I still have to do the wheels and the bumpers. Oh well, nothing, nothing fun's cheap, right? I like it being all one color. <laughs> Got this masking job on the steering wheel. Hey, it works. A dollar at the uh, the dollar store. You can buy uh, a stash up here. Little pop-up wrappers. Makes masking real easy. So that's what I did. On top of the masking. Have the tape, the doors and all. So I'm psyched. Tomorrow is Saturday. I'm gonna plan and try to let this thing sit uh, 24 hours, which is what I think it needs to do for it to uh, off gas and uh, shrink in as much as it's gonna shrink in, and then wet sand the whole thing with 400. Then tack it off, and I'm gonna do the body, all the white, which is gonna be uh, all the jams, the dash the back spacing around all the doors of the jams, the engine compartment. And then it has a like a blood red color that goes from this line down. My thinking is I'm not even gonna mask it. I'm just gonna shoot the white, you know, kind of let it overhang a couple of inches and then mask off the red and shoot down. If that's wrong, somebody give me a heads up. Uh, if I'm right, that's how I'm doing it. Have my panels drop down so you can keep my garage pretty clean. I roll this one back up after I'm done. It seems to work pretty good. I mean, it's not airtight. Usually I do is I, I clamp the corners together, but there's a little bit of a gap. But it seems to uh, pretty much keep it contained to that area. Whatever works, right? All right, guys. Peace out.